It's a great day to go play with some poop. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. It's a long time, no talk. Of course, I don't have my camera with me, so I'm doing this on my phone, as you can see in my reflection there. Yeah, I got a cinnamon sucker. My mom makes some great cinnamon suckers. That's besides the point. Today is December 19th. Uh, we're shipping a lot of cattle between today and tomorrow. And they're talking about a snowstorm coming like Christmas Day, day after Christmas. So big priority this week is getting the pens scraped, get the piles of manure kind of shaped up. So if it does snow, they can lay on top of the manure because it'll be drier than the bottom of the pen because that's the way gravity and water works. So we're going to take the box scraper and my baler tractor, the red 245. Start cleaning some pins. Got Harley out here supervising, making sure I'm doing this properly. Not a whole lot to this. I mean, you put it down, drive around in circles, you put it all in the middle. You want to just kind of create a big pile, a couple feet high, gives them a nice place to lay when the pin is wet. Because this is where those immediately attract to, so they're going to pack this down over the next week or so and then this is where they'll lay when it starts to snow so it'll keep it dry because they'll catch all the snow and then boom you instantly have a nice big dry spot for them to lay one pin down like 10 more to go 15 more to go moving on one thing you don't want to do in scraping pins is get down to the old dirt because these guys will start licking it and digging holes. So all you want to do is take off the manure back down to it, but not all the way down to it. Does that make sense? It's always cool when we get one of these guys that let you pet on them. What do you think, buddy? Finished a couple of pins back at the other yard. Now I came up here where they've been shipping cattle today. So I just cleaned the far pin over there. Now Maddie and Nate are pushing these calves into that pin. So I can start cleaning on the pin they just came out of. Then tomorrow the cattle on this pin right here ship. So I'll clean it. The ones that are still over there will then come around to this pin. And then I can clean that pin. So yeah. Lots of poop between today and tomorrow. Got that other pin done, so we got two pins cleaned at one location to at another. Now I'm going to try and get this one and that one done. These pins are a little bit smaller, as you can see, so it, it's a little tight in here. Not, not near as fast. A lot of reversing in these pins. Two more pins clean. That puts total up to six. That pin, the manure is quite a bit wetter, so I had to get the loader involved make it a little more of a steep pile so they couldn't climb on it because you don't want them getting on super wet they can whoa wrong hand they can actually drown or suffocate depending on how the insurance wants to word it in their own manure and that's never a good day we've had that happen twice now neighbors got cattle out on winter wheat pasture Oh, let's see if I can get this back to the shop without making a mess out of it. It's been kind of a crazy cattle day. So we shipped that pin right over there that I started on. The far pin over there that has cattle in it. The cattle that were there, that's the second pin I cleaned, got moved up by the grain bins. The cattle at the grain bins got shipped off, moved around. Now the cattle that are over there came from right there. And Cameron is currently, well by now, hopefully he's loading at the sale barn to bring cattle to put back in there. Another news, the cleanup project is coming along nicely. I'll have to take you guys over there for a tour sometime. While waiting on Cameron to get here with cattle, I think it's time to enjoy a beverage. Go see what the guys got done in the shop. Probably just going to keep uploading shorts like I have been just because... There's not a whole lot that I can video around here day to day where 
none of the guys want the camera around. I can't go in the shop, you know, the way Millennial Farmer, Larson Farms, Welkers, all them guys. Winter content and shop content. And, well, that's not an option for me. So, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one.